to this week's Ask a Lecture version of Behind the Fiction. I'm Alexa Larberg. And I'm Stephen Campbell, and this is the show where we discuss the books LMBPN is publishing this week. And to find the answers to these questions, we always ask Alexa, not the device that's sitting on your desk or in your kitchen or in your living room, but we ask a living, breathing Alexa. So Alexa, what's our first book this week? Up first, we have book four in the Science of Magic series called Bermuda Triangle Blues. New city, new chuckleheads in need of a lesson. The battles in New Orleans are all about power struggles elsewhere, and it's time for Callie to discover the source. It's time for her and Fire to visit New Atlantis and find out what the fuss is all about. Both gangs in the Crescent City are fighting for control with Callie and her friends in the middle. To do nothing is to risk those she cares about on a daily basis. This sounds really interesting. I don't know much else, but it sounds awesome. All right. So whenever I hear a word that I don't understand, I oftentimes will ask Alexa. So Alexa, what is a chucklehead? Um, I'm not sure, but I know what a knucklehead is. <laughs> so maybe they're similar. I, th- I, th- I think they are. I think they are similar. Uh, Alexa, what is our next book? Up next, we have Spellbound Magic. And that is book three in the Witches of Pressler Street series. Um, I, I think, I, hopefully you guys have been reading along with this already. Um, we have the three witches who live on Pressler Street. It's all part of the Terra Navis universe. And in this one, there's a blood bond that's been fused and ancient magic and sibling rivalries. And the, the Hadstrom sisters are running out of time. And of course, it's in Austin since Martha Carr is involved in this. And it's a fun story and we think you're going to like it. So Alexa, I feel like I should turn around and ask the Alexa that's behind me. But instead, I'm going to ask the Alexa that's in front of me. Alexa, what's next? Up next, we have Trading by Stormlight. And I'm way more interesting than that electronic device. You are, um, but you tend to be a little sassier. You know. You won't tell me you lose them. <laughs> so this is book seven in the Magic Below Paris series from C.M. Simpson and Michael Anderley. I don't know whether you heard the interview that I did with uh, C.M. Simpson when we talked about the first book. And every time we think about one of these books, I think back to one of the classic question and answers of all time in my podcasting career. And I've done four or 500 of these. Um, I ask Colleen, you know, why, why did you title this the, the magic below Paris? And she's like, well, there's magic and it's below Paris. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I really kind of wanted to delete that question because it was so stupid, but uh, I didn't, we went along with it. Anyway, great series. It's really fun. Uh, Marsh and Roglin are back and you're going to love it. If you've been reading all along from the beginning, you've been waiting forward to book seven or you've been looking forward to book seven. If you haven't, go back and read book one because you're really going to enjoy it. Alexa, what's our next book? Up next, we have book eight in the Witch Next Door series from Judith Behrens, which is called Homeward Witch. Okay, and in this book, we finally have, I don't know if you guys have been following along with this one or not, but if you have, uh, there's been a daughter searching for a mother and there's been all this traveling. And in book eight, which is the conclusion to the series, we finally get a mother and witch reunion. It's kind of clever. So, but there's still one big open question. Can Lily, Greta, and Romeo secure the council's help and put an end to Carmichael and the Black Heron Society for good? You have to read this one to find out. If you haven't started this series yet, go back to book one. You're going to really enjoy it. But uh, for those who have been reading, this is the exciting conclusion. Alexa, what's next? Our last book is Magitech Rises, which is book three in the exceptional Espafont series from okay. Sarah Nelson and Michael Anderley. So this has been a wildly popular series uh, from Sarah and Michael. It's one of those series that's so popular that the pre-order becomes a bestseller, typically a month before it's released. And uh, that was the case again with this one, with, with, uh, with book three. Fans are loving this series. It was a takeoff from Sophia Beaufont was a character in the Live Beaufont series. And, you know, so this is a brand new series and it's got dragons and wow, dragons. It, that's all you have to say right now is it's got dragons and uh, they sell like crazy. But this series is really well written, really exciting. 
uh, people love it. So a little bit about it. Uh, there are only a few dragon riders left, um, and there are only five dragon eggs left in the world. And after they're gone, the dragons and the riders will be gone forever, unless one woman can change everything. The only problem is that Sophia Buffont, who is obviously that woman, doesn't know quite what to do. Magitech, Magitech is trying to ruin the world and everything hangs in the balance and not even mother nature can fix things. However, something is being orchestrated behind the scenes and Sophia strangely feels like it involves her. So if you guys have pre-ordered this, it will show up on your Kindle uh, midnight, wherever you are in the world on Friday. And for those of you who haven't pre-ordered yet, you'll be able to pick it up on Friday. So it's a great, great series, very popular. We've got a really nice slate of books this week. I'm excited about the week coming up. I am too. Lots of reading to be done. Lots of reading to be done as usual. So thank you guys very much for being with us. Um, we will be back on your screen and in your ear again next Monday to let you know what's coming okay. up. Okay. This is not over yet. Okay. On what day are we going to be back? Monday. Monday. Not Monday, Monday, because you said Friday too. <laughs> that's that's an Ohio thing. Okay. Have well, you everyone, ever been to Ohio? No, but everyone, we will see you next Monday. D E. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Next Monday, Monday. Now, now I have a complex. Thank you, Alexa. Alexa, what's correct, Monday or Monday? Monday. Monday. <laughs> My name's Alexis, and so what I say goes. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. We will be back sometime next week. See you then. Bye.